Hola y aloha, everyone. Um, we're with the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Hawaii. Today, I'm going to be your host, Barbara DeLuca, President, and Marisol, our Vice President. So just me and you today, Marisol. Um, hello. So we want to start out by sending our love and aloha to our brothers and sisters on Maui. Um, as an Indigenous people, we feel the plight of the Kanaka Maoli, the Kapuna, and the Keiki that called Lahaina their home. Our thoughts go out to the local residents that call Maui their home too. We're, we're saddened by the tragedy. <clears throat> and we want to share how our communities are affected and how we're contributing where we can. So with that, we're going to be discussing um, who's been reaching out to us behind the scenes and, and what we're doing on our part. So I'm going to start by um, just discussing my conversation with the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce President and CEO, Ramiro Cavazos. He reached out to us last week to offer his condolences, and he offered to share our 501c3 fundraising campaign with his 60,000 business members and 260 chambers nationwide. So 100% of our proceeds will be donated to the relief efforts on Maui. Through our Hawaii Disaster, through our Hawaii Disaster Business Relief Fund. To find it, you can go to our website, hcchawaii.org. Um, today, Almi Bermijo, she's our regional administrator with the Small Business Association, sorry, Small Business Administration. Um, she's a regional administrator, so she contacted us to offer resources. And I shared with her that there's a lot of Spanish speaking foreign nationals visiting and that they're in shelters. They've lost their passports and their visas. Um, I also shared with her that the Consulate General of Mexico, San Francisco is on, was on Maui on the 13th and 14th, and the Philippine Consulate General of Honolulu was on Maui on the 15th and 16th. Um, our treasurer of the Hispanic Changer, Chamber of Commerce Hawaii, Dr. Ruben Juarez, he's coordinating efforts with our HCCH member and immigration attorney, Kevin Block. He's also a resident of Maui um, on relief efforts. So Kevin is able to share with us what uh, resources are necessary and how we can help out on the ground. Um, Kevin Block is also providing pro bono assistance um, for anybody who lost their green card or DACA cards that, that were destroyed. So we got boots on ground with Kevin Block and our uh, PR director of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Hawaii. She is also a Red Cross PR communications um, director. Her name is Ziomara Guevara, and she has um, she's at the War Memorial last week the shelter, speaking with the immigrant population. There's a lot of Spanish speaking um, community there. So she was able to talk to them. And, um, you know, our people are working in the tourism industry, cooks, hotels, hotel workers. So, you know, we're, we're doing what we can um, in Maui. We also have a board member on the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Dr. Lisa Sanchez Johnson. Uh, she's uh, also on the board of directors for the Hawaii Psychological Association. And she's talking to the Hispanic population at Enlace Hispano Programming. Hope I said that right. And she also visited the War Memorial Shelter to provide psychological support um, for things that, you know, they may be going through like anxiety or depression. So we, we are, we're doing our part and, and we feel your pain and we, we want to contribute and give back in any way we can. Uh, Marisol, yes. That are board members and the communities coming together in, in times like this, but there's also not necessarily just our board members, but uh, members, right? So can yes. you share a little bit about what Marin is doing as well sure. from Straight Out of Husk, right? I would love to. So Marin and Sam, her husband, um, they flew to Maui. They make tamales, so she used all of her food, tamale husk, masa everything to prepare tamales and flew over to Maui like the day after it happened and uh they were driving around Maui and and found people that were just displaced and didn't have shelter so they went out and bought tents and blankets and and just gave it to them so they could have somewhere to sleep for the night and uh some of the Maui they have friends there that that help them you know provide a place for them to stay so they were able to go travel and do that um rip fitness the Val and Hip, Hip Rivera. Yep, Hip was on our show last week. 
they put together a fundraising um, drive at their gym, which is a warehouse in Waipahu, and they were able to collect donations to send to Maui. And the owners of Mercado de la Raza, Alex Villarino and Megan Chun, also had a fundraising um, efforts. So they were collecting items at the store and also at Walmart, I believe, to send to Maui. <clears throat> so yes, thank you for making that point that we, you know, the chamber's doing their part, members of our chamber are doing their part. I love the fact that, you know, through this all, we're we're showing aloha and and and, and it's not what you do, it's it's how you do it. It's a way of life and, and it's good to see our community, you know, getting together and 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 contributing where they can. Right. And we'll continue to send text messages, emails, put on our HCCH website, our Facebook, our Instagram, personal accounts, business accounts. We'll be putting out there where they can click on the link to to donate to the relief fund for sure. So today's show um, that we had planned before this tragedy occurred was um, to discuss our Latino Business Expo. So that is happening uh, Saturday, October 7th, and it's during Hispanic Heritage Month. So we're very excited about this signature event, and it's just going to get bigger and better every year. We have planned a panel discussion to talk to our Latino business leaders, the ones that we just discussed. Some of them will be on the panel, including Alex Villarino and Megan Chun, owners of Mercado de la Raza. There's their cute little boy. Um, and Hip Rivera and Val, his wife from Rip Fitness, will also be on the panel. I believe it's just going to be Hip, though. Uh, Hector Garcia Gomez, owner of the Taqueria El Ranchero. There's Wahiwa and Kapolei locations will be on our panel. And Dominic Escamil, the owner of HNLAX, it's a barbershop with two locations on Pearl Ridge and Waikele. So we have some you know, leaders in our community that are out there doing different things and representing different businesses. And we have a grocery store, a gym, a restaurant, and a barbershop. So it's going to be a great discussion moderated by Maria Arieta. Uh, we also have SBA, the Small Business Administration. Um, Hazel Beck is the Deputy District Director. She'll be doing a presentation, Boots to Business for our military. So it's a, basically an exit strategy conversation, you know, how you can start a small business after exiting the military. So Barbara, let's talk a little bit about why our first Latino Business Expo is so special, right? We're sure. known for uh, parties and having a good time and showing up, you know, with good music and good food, and we'll have all of those things for sure, but it is so much more than that, right? Um, right. For those of us that, you know, uh, or thought about starting a business, or maybe you already have, you know, a business in the works, or you don't know what you want to do, but you have these amazing ideas. You know, this is a space to come and gather because there's going to be entrepreneurs, people that have been in business for over 25 years, those that are just starting, those that have ideas. We have the Small Business uh, Administration there, right, to give us right. hands-on information on starting a business, right? So you're going to get the entertainment. All of your favorite vendors from around the island are going to be there. So you're going to get the food we're going to have music. They'll be dancing. Um, but above all things, this is our very first Latino business expo. And we're so excited because we're planning on expanding and growing and each year adding more and more vendors, right? Because what we want right. to do is showcase them, right? We want to celebrate them. We want to highlight them and promote each other's businesses, right? And right. the only way we can do that is by providing this space for, the, for them in, this is what it is, a Latino Business Expo. And um, we're excited because uh, this is just the beginning. So we really appreciate everyone to come out, support one another, because that's really what we're here to do is, is highlight and support one another. Yeah, great point. And you know, the Latino Business Expo is for Latinos and those who love us. And, and yeah. like you said, who yeah. doesn't love our food and our culture and our dance and our music? We're going to have a great time at um, on October 7th at Aloha Tower Marketplace Outdoors. We'll, we'll have the stage and the, the pier available with all our great food vendors. Uh, if you want to find out more information, visit our website and click on Signature Events. So once you click on that, you'll see our flyer. And I'm going to scroll down. So 
some of our business partners that have already committed to participate is Eva La Salsa. She makes wonderful salsa and guacamole, um, sabor mexicano. They are going to be making these wonderful jalapeno popper, cheese popper, tamales, yeah. and um, birria tacos, and oh, oysters Hawaii. You guys got to check them out. And oh, they're they, amazing. They're sisters and a partner, right? And they were Miss Latina and Miss USA. So they have a great network and even better oysters. And they walk around and get the party started with oysters hooked <laughs> to their waist. <laughs> and we have a food, a food truck, El Gallo. Uh, this is Peruvian. And straight out of Husk, they are going to be making four different tamales for us and some horchata, raiz tortillas. He makes handmade tortillas. Very delicious. They're amazing. Those tortillas are so delicious. Right? Mm -hmm. And Aloha Afalores, they make sweet uh, dessert treats like cookies. And we also have tacos, mi muchachita. Uh, she'll be making birria tacos. So we have a good mix of different food. Uh, please join us. If you want to be a vendor, you can also go to the same link and, and join up. Uh, we also have some other participants, soldier to soldier. Uh, actually, it's commission with the mission with Soldier to Soldier will be present. Eight and H and L A X and one more. Let's see. We have Dynamic Stretch Therapy. So some great vendors there. And promoting our event is Fuego Entertainment. Uh, and a, and uh, what else? Oh, so so sorry, guys. Ballet Folklorico will be there for entertainment. They're coming out from Phoenix, Arizona, to dance. So you don't want to miss that. They're going to be on stage from 12 to 1. So try to get there before 12. It starts at 11. And we also want to give a, a thank you to Patino Designs for creating this wonderful flyer and marketing campaign. Mario Patino is, is awesome. Thank you. Does a lot of um, work with the Hawaiian community. So come on out and, and check out the Latino Business Expo. Like we said, for Latinos and those who love us, we're also going to have a VIP on the lawn. Yes. So there's tickets available for that. You want to talk about that, Marisol? Um, yeah, it's just it's really exciting. It gives people an opportunity. You can purchase a VIP ticket to for those of us that are you know pretty serious about leveling up and taking maybe your existing business to the next level or just meeting uh, people on a one on one basis really to talk about uh, your business. What did you do? You know, how did you raise funds? How did you get a loan? Um, just bounce off ideas from one another. It's really important to really surround yourself with like-minded people. So this is an opportunity for those to really uh, get in a space with many entrepreneurs, um, and business owners, and talk about um, talk about business and 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 take it take it to that next level, which is really exciting. It's going to be a wonderful event. And you know, those of you that are thinking, or you might know somebody that's like, hey, come out and promote your business. It's not. It's not just food, guys. Like Barbara said, it's services, right? Maybe you have marketing or we have, we found one, right? Um, that does uh, uh, a daycare, right? Spanish speaking daycare. Yeah. Um, Hola y aloha keki. Hola y aloha keki. Hola keki. I think that's what it is. Hola keki, huh? Okay. Uh, we're going to reach out to her. Like, so there's, there's a lot of um, Latino owned businesses out there that we'd love to, to promote and just, uh, get everyone to connect with one another. Yes, I contacted 15 yesterday. Uh, Mike and I contacted 15 different Latino businesses. <laughs> That's awesome. and there's over 170. So we have a lot more work to do, but we're going to get as many people out there as we can get the community united, lift the Latino business owner's voice, provide a platform, um, foster connections. It's going to be a great event. Um, and we also have Duke's Car Club participating. So when you pull up, you'll we'll have all our lowriders out front. The lowriders. Spaghetti factory, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to share a culture, all of it, right, Mari? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, we do. And then um, did you talk about the Baile Folklorico? Go We're ahead, yes. Our, uh -huh. The Baile Folklorico is going to be out there dancing, um, showing their beautiful dresses. Um, I'm not entirely sure. How long are they performing for, Barbara? From 12 to 1. Yeah, that's, that's amazing, right? right. So that's going to be that's going to be a beautiful thing to watch. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, guess what else? We have giveaways. So Ooh, we're going to have a yes. tent. Yes, let's talk about our tent. So uh, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, we're going to have of Hawaii. We'll have our own tent there with Miss Latina teen. She'll be doing a meet and greet and we'll be doing random giveaways from time to time. So far, we've already gotten gift cards from Alejandro's. 
and uh, La Casita and Waipahu. And there's more to come. Um, the Burrito Kid is going to give us some um, a gift card too. So if they can't participate because maybe they're short staffed or they have a restaurant to run on the Saturday, which is understandable, then we we have our business partners also offering gift cards to give away to help promote and elevate their business. So Marisol, today I talked to Dr. Rudy Guevara. He is a professor. He lives in Phoenix, where I'm from. So I told him we, we're basically going to meet in person when I fly home in September. I'm so excited to meet him. He is an author of a book, and the name of it is Hola Compadre, and it's about the Aloha Hispanic... Compadre. Yes, Aloha. Did I say Hola? <laughs> Uh -huh. say, aloha, aloha, compadre. Aloha, aloha, compadre. And it's, you know, it's similar to our show, Hola y Aloha. How do you say you're Hispanic in Hawaii? So the name of his book is Aloha, compadre. Why don't you tell us what compadre means? Uh, compadre is like a friend, my counterpart, um, comrade, my home girl, uh, my home girl <laughs> homeboy, my compadre. Yes. Yes. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> So, you know, over 20 years, he's been putting together stories and they're all in this book about the, the Hispanic experience in Hawaii. So there's there's some people that live here that I knew that told me about the book and they're actually, you know, part of the stories that are in his book. So he's going to be our guest September 13th. It's going to be such a great Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's he'll be pretty fascinating. I'm excited about that. So Marisol, we, since it's Hispanic Heritage Month, and we have our Latino Business Expo on October 7th. We also have a Hispanic Heritage Festival that we want to discuss, and that is produced by Alma Latina Entertainment. And that is gonna be, it's their 31st Hispanic Heritage Festival and Fair. And it's out at the Veterans Center. I'm, I'm sorry, I have to look at this, October 14th and 15th. So it's a two-day event. If you go to Eventbrite, you can get your tickets. I believe it's $10 a day or $15 for both days. And if you have children under a certain age, they're free. Uh, we're looking at having a booth out there. And some of the wonderful guests that will be there for two days, one of them is Tito Puente Jr. And oh, that's fun. Isn't that yes. awesome? So you want he's to share a, the great news? <laughs> uh, he's fabulous. And he's an amazing musician. And we are very fortunate enough to have him on as a future guest of our talk show, Hola y Aloha. So stay tuned for that because we're really excited to um, let him talk about himself <laughs> with us. <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But yeah, that's Nancy's uh, event um, at mm -hmm. the Hispanic Heritage Festival. Super excited to support. Again, we're here to help each other, promote each other, collaborate. Um, and there are, what other events are coming up, Barbara? Well, you and I are going to be traveling to Florida in September That's right. because, right, the United <laughs> yes. States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce has a conference, their annual conference, and this year it's in Orlando in September, the 23rd to the 27th, I believe. So Marisol and I get to travel out there on behalf of our local chamber here in Hawaii. And when we are, you know, everybody just loves anybody from Hawaii, right? <laughs> and we're going to bring lays for everybody. Well, and not everybody, but, you know, uh, <laughs> and work on those networking skills and getting the conference out here eventually. Right. We that's, do have a lot of interest. Goal. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's definitely our uh, one of our bucket lists is to get the <laughs> national conference out here in Hawaii, which, again, will help us help our industry. So, yes, we're, we're working on getting the conference here. So we will be submitting yeah. a, a, a RFP for that for 2026, I believe. So we have a lot right. of work to do and grow a lot of growth. So if you're right. interested in joining and participating and volunteering in any way, please contact us at hcchawaii.org. That's going to be a great event. And two weeks late, no, far, not two weeks later, I will be there for a week. So the right after the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the conference is the 24th through the 27th in Orlando. After that, Marisol and I will be flying to Miami, the 27th through the 30th. So that's going to be another great conference that is um, Latitude. And it's also in connection with the NARA, which stands for National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals. So mm -hmm. by trade, I'm a broker with Soldier to Soldier. Marisol is a lender. 
with uh, it, who are you with, with now? Edge, <laughs> Edge Home Finance. A mortgage broker with Edge Home Finance. Wow, thanks, Barbara. <laughs> She's our secret lender. Just kidding. That's that's her awesome hashtag. We love it. So um, we'll be there representing the real estate community here in Hawaii at the Hispanic Association of Real Estate Professionals. So that's going to be great. And Latitude is actually a Latino um, conference on the industries for sports, entertainment, you know, acting, where there's going to be a lot of star-studded star -studded events. So we'll be happy to bring you back a lot of uh, material and, and yes. facts, right? Absolutely. We'll be sharing on yes. social media about our trip. So follow us uh, on Instagram and um, Facebook and LinkedIn. We're all over the place. <laughs> if you go to our yep, website, you'll find our social media links. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and don't, guys. And don't huh? don't forget it's for it's not just for Latinos. That's it's right. for Latinos and those who those love who us. Love us. Well, um, thank you, Marisol, for joining today. It was you and I, it was a, a great conversation and lots <laughs> of information to share. <laughs> um, and thank you to our viewers. Thank you for watching our show. Hola y aloha on Think Tech. Again, I'm Barbara DeLuca, president and co-founder with my lovely co-host Marisol Ruiz co-founder as well, vice president. So adios y aloha, everybody. Thank you. Adios.